Man, I hope everyone's had a, a great, great Wednesday. I don't know about you, but my whole week feels messed up. I thought today was Tuesday. I thought yesterday was Thursday. This whole week, I don't know about you. Sometimes you wake up and you just like you don't even know what day of the week it is. You're like, I swear, my calendar. I'm looking at it, it's telling me Wednesday, but it don't feel like a Wednesday. I hate those days. I should say hate. Hate strong word. It was one of those days that I just felt like a little annoying. I don't know. You just you, you never feel you never feel truly locked in. But I do have to say, this morning we got our fitness in. I was happy about it. Uh, we've been on our fitness kick. We're trying to create stronger gamers and be a stronger gamer ourselves. And today's workout was actually it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was kind of nice to have like it broken up into three parts. It was a 30 minute workout, so each block was like 10 minutes. So it's like if it sucked. It's only going to suck for 10 minutes. And the first 0 to 10 minutes was just run a mile. Can you run a mile within 10 minutes? You should be able to. If not, run as far as you can in that 10 minutes. And then eventually let's get you to running that full ass mile. And then the next part from minute 10 to 20 was just another simple get the work done. 150 kettlebell swings. I got it done with like 3 seconds left. I did like 3 sets of 25 and just blew out my forearms. It was too much. So... Looking back at it, I don't know how much more I could have done. Maybe done like four sets of 20. Maybe try to knock out five sets of 20. But at the end of the time, or at the end of the day, I did knock it out. I used a 26-pound kettlebell, and I was going all the way up. So it wasn't like the half kettlebell swing. It was like going to your eyes. It was all the way up, all the way down. And then lastly, the last 10 minutes, aka okay, minutes 20 to 30, you got five rounds. And it was kind of at your own pace. It was, it was supposed to be toes to bar, but I did not do toes to bar. I did full setups. My core is so weak, uh, but I knocked out some sit-ups, and then I did a minute plank in between. Knocked out five rounds. I knocked out five rounds, so I got everything that I needed to done. I didn't do it as prescribed, per se, but I still did the damn work. We still did the damn thing, and uh, yeah. It's unfortunate right now that COD is COD is where it's at. X Defiant, I wish, was in a better place. Because X Defiant right now is just not in the in the best of place. And I keep seeing here. I'm gonna. I I gotta pull off what I'm what I'm what I'm seeing because this is this is actually kind of wild. Like I keep seeing stuff like. Here, Bob, he's a he's a, a leaker of COD stuff. If you if you didn't know, now you know. Um, but he has been leaking all of these different bundles, and it looks like it seems like every year it happens this way, where towards the last half of the the season or the the cycle of the COD that we get, we get these crazy weapon skins. It's like, why does it take so long for us to get something like this into the game instead of like the first few bundles that come out? I mean, this thing has a full on effect of the the screen the the screen rating. You have mushrooms and shit growing. I mean, there's just so much. There's just so many skins and shit. Now, granted, a lot of these are earnable too, so I appreciate the ones that are that are earnable. But even the ones that like aren't, you have to go in there and buy. Like it's actually kind of, like. Look at this. It's basically Borealis. It's basically the Master of Camo with Tracer Rounds. And an effect like this? Come on! That shit is fire! Look at this! This is one I saw earlier today. It even has like a tiny spaceman that you could shoot. Like, look at this shit. As you ADS, it gets tight, sucked in like a black hole. Watch. Zoop! Pop! And he goes flying. Look at that. Granted, I think that'd be a little distracting in a gunfight. But... Would be kind of freaking cool. I also need to change my shit because it's not Tuesday no more. Your favorite part timer is live. But it just blows me away that this is this is the stuff that that we're getting now when Kata's. At its absolute, uh, with its absolute worst. 
One thing that I think is kind of cool, Valorant is finally coming to console. Granted, I don't think I could use my controller while I'm playing mouse and key. So at this moment, I don't think I would want to. I think these kids are too damn cracked. Even watching Nate Shot over here. Nate Shot's a good watch. Even though he plays... Who does Nate play? Do you play Arena? I don't even know who Nate plays. I also really like Valorant's rank system, even though right now I'm unranked. Don't laugh at me. It is, hold on, before I start playing, and I have to follow up on the Dr. Disrespect stuff, it is kind of crazy to see everything that's happening with Doc right now. I know so many people supported him. Nick, Tim, while they're getting their tan on, decided to do a, you know, a, a video and put it out online saying, hey, you know, this is our, this is our buddy, so of course we're a little bit more sensitive to this, but... We have to distance ourselves with this, and this whole situation just, whole situation just sucks. And and I think Ninja put it the best, which is kind of crazy to say that Ninja is the one that put this the best, but I think he did. But normally, when a lawsuit is going down, and lawyers and settlements are reached, it means somebody on one of the parties. It could be on Twitch. Twitch reading into it and breaking or breaking their own, you know, terms of service or, you know, the doc reaching out to a minor and, and which he admitted to and, you know, doing the things that he did. What worries me is this is just supposedly the first wave and there's three waves total and two waves. The second wave can come out while while I'm live right now on kick, kick.com forward slash Elrod. If you're seeing this, like the video on YouTube, hang out with me over on kick. Uh, but as we're, we're going live, we, the second batch may happen. It's, from what I've gathered, there's more sh big name streamers other than Doc that were using the whisper feature to go back and forth with certain people on Twitch to have, uh, inappropriate conversations to say the least. So it's just, it, it's a, sh it sucks. I hate it. Um, <coughs> I definitely was somebody who was like, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just destroy the doc or go after the doc off just accusations. I need to see, not need to see anything, but I need more. And, you know, him going out of his way to say, hey, some of this is true, you know, X, Y, Z. You know, I, he, granted, he did say he's not a pedophile. He's not these these things. Though some of his actions were uh, ones that he wasn't super proud of, which... I think it takes a, a, a big man to come out, especially on the internet, which is just a, a nasty place, and come out and say, hey, I messed up, I know this is wrong, I'm, I'm better than the person who I was when this incident happened, um, and I'm going to take some time and focus on me, and I think, I, Doc alluded to it in like a seven minute video that I reacted to the other day, where it's like, he's just a little burnt out, I'm actually probably super burnt out, because I... I the intensity, the consistency, the discipline some of these guys have to just stream every single day, no matter what. Talk about it, make the clips, get with the team, and really coordinate it. Like, it's exhausting. Uh, and for somebody like me who's, you know, as as the title of the stream suggests, your favorite part-time streamer, I, I I don't have that kind of audience. I don't, I don't have to worry about any of those extra stressors, extra responsibilities that that comes with that I think so many people forget they don't even think about but for doc i hope he can i don't want to say get the help that he needs because i feel like that's also a little bit of an over exaggeration uh but i hope doc gets in a better place he can get to the point where he can provide for his family and i hope that all parties even the ones that we don't know about currently are okay and everyone's in a better place and we could do something that I don't see enough of uh, 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 in this world, in this forgiving, and not moving on, because it's not forgive and forget, but it's just like forgive and allow for redemption, allow for the second chance, and give an honest, an honest 
chance for that redemption. Because if you don't, I think even though the ego may come in and say he doesn't deserve it, that works up until it's you, your mother, your dad, your brother, your sister, your kid. Up until it doesn't work for you or somebody you love. So be kind. That's what I want to see out of all of this. So just people be kind. And allow for a redemption. I think that's that's where I'm going to leave leave that. If you guys have any thoughts on Doc, let me know. GPB, I appreciate you as always.